Well, Retina Practicare 2.0 is a program that has been developed by the American Society of Retina Specialists to help our members benchmark their practice financials because the retina practice is substantially different than a typical general ophthalmology practice or a glaucoma practice and certainly much different than typical medical practices. And so we realized that we really needed a tool that allowed retina specialists to compare themselves to other retina specialists yet to maintain confidentiality because obviously people don't want their specific financials to be public. Well, ASRS has funded this. You know, these things are not free, and uh, the board of directors and the executive committee have supported this idea that I started, that we really need to do this as a member service. And as an organization, we're always looking for member services to try to help our members. And this is particularly important now because uh, reimbursements have really been squeezed. Many of our most common procedures have been reduced over the past decade. Most of the surgical procedures, most of the laser procedures, and so it means that we have to run our businesses much better to be able to still uh, stay afloat. The, the data that we collect will be certainly practice demographics, uh, for example, number of employees, your payroll, you know, other expenses like rent. And then, of course, there's the revenue side, uh, looking at uh, what you get from services, clinical services. Some of the practices also have uh, research centers and they do uh, controlled studies studies as part of uh, national studies, so they may have some income from that. And then another important piece is the pharmaceutical income. And the pharmaceutical income in many ways is like a separate business, and at least with the FDA approved drugs, that tends to drown out everything else because we actually collect far more uh, from the pharmaceuticals than we ever collect for our services, but then we have to pay out most of it. So you have a very small margin. In some ways, you're like a grocery store where they have you know a lot of revenue but also a lot of expenses with a thin margin. And so what we're doing with Retina Practicer 2.0 is really focusing on the clinical services business in terms of the benchmark programs, but then we will make an Excel spreadsheet available to each of the practices that will allow them to calculate their pharmaceutical expenses as well. And one of the reasons that we need to do that is that some of the larger groups get discounts, and so those discounts are confidential and they can't disclose that and so as a result this way the practices can look at their clinical services revenue and expenses compare that to the benchmarks that will be available from retina practice care 2.0 and then they'll have their own pharmaceutical expenses and they can add that together to get a complete financial picture of their practice many practices especially some of the smaller practices really don't understand what's called the drug float and what happens is that we are often reimbursed sooner for these expensive pharmaceuticals than we have to pay the companies that we get them from. And so if there's an imbalance between how quickly you collect the money and how quickly you have to pay, a practice can actually get into a deficit situation where they owe more money than they expect to collect from patients and insurers. And so this tool will also uh, help them to look at their drug float and understand what their total deficit is. You know, for example, if they had to close their practice tomorrow, how much deficit do they have in the practice that's built up and some practices haven't really got a handle on this. So one of the major goals of Retina Practicare is really to allow practices to compare themselves to other practices but also to improve the financial IQ of all of the practices so that they are learning to look at the benchmarks and the particular metrics that indicate practice being healthy or not healthy. One of the other things that will be calculated is the number of FDEs per doctor. Uh, there will also be metrics about how busy the doctor is, how many patients a day are they seeing, how many injections are they doing, laser surgeries, things like that, because you obviously don't expect a less busy doctor to have the same performance as a, a busy doctor, and certainly large groups have certain economies of scale in theory, and so in this tool we'll divide it into small, medium, and large groups, so practices can 
compare themselves to their similar group if there's let's say a medium-sized practice but they can also look at what the benchmarks are for a larger group or a smaller group to see you know are in fact larger groups more efficient or are they less efficient because they have more layers of administration and overhead well we're doing the beta testing now we've made some recent changes and we expect to roll this out to the general ASRS membership in the fall and any ASRS member is uh, able to participate and the information is confidential so only that practice receives their own practice metrics and data.